Shall we give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Chakudash. And also we give all uh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Mills and all the world. Um, and a shout out to the elect brothers out there. Um, um, I do pray this is edifying. Um, lesson and uh, as you can see on the, by this article China or Russia China um, is ditching the uh, US dollar um, more and more um, um, what was I was about to say um, they're not they're not um, totally um, like doing business they're not they didn't totally discontinue from their uh business with each other um because you know they still have deals and they still um do things as far as importing and then exporting but um yeah man this is uh this is all prophecy because those these are the two enemies of America when you get uh when you know if you're talking Armageddon and uh, World War three these are gonna be two big factors Moscow and Beijing have been pushing for a greater role of their respective currencies on the global financial market and have made a number of steps to lower their US dollar holdings in the past several years. So their currency, they're putting more stock in their currency rather than the falling petrodollar the uh, money that's, I guess you can say, is backed by um, oil, which at one point in time was backed by gold. Since it's no longer backed by gold, it's making the U.S. dollar devalued. And as much as they print, they see, you know, kind of into the future as far as where does um, United States, how they're